I'm going to show you how to create a section view. So we should be in the floor and floor plans view and then click the view tab, choose section. And we're going to do a wall section over here. So I'm going to click and drag and then just click again. So you could just click once and then click again. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. What we're doing is we're looking at a section view looking from the south side. Um, we don't need to look this deep because I don't want that door or that wall into it. Otherwise that wall would show. We just want to have only this wall in that section view. So now that I've kind of shrunk it up so I have just a little bit, and you can see I have a little bit extra on the left hand side. Then we're going to go open. It's created this section view. I'm going to open that section view up and this is what you should see. So we're going to pull this left just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to give myself a little bit more on the right hand side. Now I want to see a little more detail on this. We should see our levels here. That's great. So let's go down here and go to find detail and make sure thin lines is selected. Again, that's in the view tab and we have thin lines selected because what that does is when I pull the mouse wheel down towards me, then I can see all these different components. Um, I can see the ceiling here. I can see the roof layers, the wall layers, and I can see the floor layers as well. So let me show you now how to add some insulation to this. So if we go over to, to annotate and then choose insulation, and it's going to remind me to save it. So you should definitely save it if you haven't done that recently. Uh, we have three and a half in inch width insulation, which is great for three and a half inch width walls, but you can see it's not quite um, centered in there. So it's not really going to look right. Um, since I have a half inch extra on the left, I'm going to offset this by a quarter inch and take it from the top and bring it down. So if you do it in that order, it should be centered and bring it all the way to the bottom and click a second time. Now I hit the escape key and that sort of brings that to a close. So the next thing we need to do is annotate. So if we click text and we have a text box selected here, I'm going to choose over here. Maybe let's start up with the top. And you can see my text is, is really big. It's a quarter inch. So I'm going to edit that right up front. And I want you to make this a size that seems to work pretty well for us is 3 30 seconds of an inch. So we'll click apply on that and OK. And um, so we're going to first label um, the asphalt shingles. So asphalt shingles. Uh, so we have our asphalt shingles. And then I'm just going to click outside that box. And I'm going to hit the escape button twice to get out of that. Now if I choose it, um, I have some different options here. I have some leaders. So I'm going to click on the add right side arc leader. I like that one. Um, kind of gives me a neat little arc. I have a couple options to uh, select here. And I'm going to click and drag this and point it at the shingle. So let's go and zoom in. I'm pulling the mouse wheel towards me. Zoom in and point directly to those. I'm going to model one more and then have you do the rest. And so we're going to do back to um, annotate and click text again. I'm going to choose my text box. Now, when you put it in, I want you to line it up with this previous one. If they're all lined up, it makes it a lot easier to read. So underneath that is half inch plywood sheathing. And I'm going to click outside of that. Now you notice that these are starting to run into that line there. So I'm going to push the mouse arrow, where the, the scroll wheel away from me. I'm going to drag this left a little bit. And I'm actually just going to, oops, sorry, I need to undo that. I need to click this um, piece here. And that allows me to make a little bit more space for myself. And it should snap. There it snapped. And now we're in good shape. Now if I click out of that, I choose it once, I can collect my leader little icon or click my leader icon and then I need to scroll wheel back towards myself so that I can point directly to that sheathing. So your job is to make sure that all of these items match up exactly with the items on the rubric. So those are the things that you need to label. And in order to get them to fit in there you may need to move some of these things around but you can see that if all we do is click this little crosshair here um, everything still points to the correct location. So you won't have to redo anything. If you point it to the location, you can still label these all out. There should be enough space. If you start from the top, work your way down, you should have enough space to get everything in there. And that's what you need to do for your section view.